Over the last year, I interviewed many of our community members and learned how each was making a difference in our missions. This video highlights just a few examples. Perhaps the biggest achievement of 2023 was the integration of the clinical practice into Duke Health. We can now all be better together. We need one another to be a stronger whole. When I think about scientists need clinicians, clinicians need scientists, we all need educators. The advocates get this word out to the street and actually move things forward in a more global way. We got an update on our commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion, and it's important. I'm really proud of the work that we've done with the staff. So creating the first recognizable employee research group, ME Squared, and I love that acronym. So to mentor and motivate, to educate and empower, I think is a great way to bring our staff community together. And we've also had discussions about extending that to other minoritized groups as well. I always enjoy talking to students. They truly remind us of what makes Duke education special. On the interview day, I just really fell in love with uh, the students that I met, the faculty that I met. Um, I saw a lot of evidence for uh, the fact that Duke has a lot of student support systems um, and also the third year research option was, was huge for me as well. Seeing how much room there was left for us to figure out scientifically what new treatments we can come up with for patients. So I was very grateful for that early clinical exposure here at Duke. Some of our trainees shared experiences with us, demonstrating how Duke is such a great place to start practicing medicine. It's been an adventure and I'm learning every day and um, getting meeting new people, so it's been amazing. And it just really taught me that, you know, the, the internal medicine program, are, they're really invested in the residents. They really get to know them and they want them to succeed. This year was not without challenges, but we continue to advocate for patients and mentor colleagues. So we're prioritizing how to train our residents, um, how to get them the necessary training here, how to maintain the rights that we have and start to get back some of those rights here in North Carolina. Um, I don't think this is the end of the story. Of course, science and scientific discovery is the foundation of everything we do here in the School of Medicine. Here are just a few who are collaborating to have a big impact. So we're gonna take those genetics data and we're actually going to return results. We're going to do it very carefully, but we're going to return results with a team of genetic counselors and clinicians back to our research participants. Uh, this integration, greater integration within the clinical sciences and the basic sciences, should have a, a new type of faculty who can take everything from discovery uh, to translation. No new algorithm will be applied to Duke patients until it goes through a thorough evaluation by the expert team we put together. And it's an example of a fantastic and successful partnership between the research side and the clinical side working hand in hand together. Our clinical faculty talked about how our clinical research leads to better treatments for our patients. And just really making sure that the research we do is representative of the people that um, are going to take part in part in it, take part in the, the results of the research, or that we hope will take part in the results of the research. We have everything to our fingertips for complex labs or imaging, everything is closely knit at Duke, so we have access to all the resources we need for any complex trial. Lastly, I was reminded by so many of those I met that by partnering with our community, we learn with them how best to advance science and deliver the best care. And I realized early in my career that working with the community, they usually know their day-by-day -day struggles and they also have a lot of strength. And I learned so much by working with community members that actually knew the problem very deep, what was the root, and they also knew how to solve it. While this was just a snapshot, it does show the talent in the School of Medicine and some of the amazing things they're doing. I'm looking forward to highlighting more of our incredible accomplishments in the future. Thank you for all that you do.